<laughs> All right, welcome back to Building Built Right. This week, we're going to give you a little bit of a behind the scenes on some product development and R&D. Um, it's actually a project we've been kind of kicking around in the background for six or eight months, and that is the Tesla Cybertruck. Whether you love it or hate it, there's no denying that it's an interesting looking vehicle and kind of an intriguing idea. And now that some of them are out on the road and in showrooms, there are some real dimensions floating around. Um, so we are taking a stab at designing our bedside molly panels for that, as well as a bed divider. And we've got a preliminary design. We're going to do some prototyping and uh, get a sense of how big these panels are. And we'll go from there. So check it out. This is just 12 gauge cold rolled steel, kind of just because these are prototypes and representative samples. For production on the Cybertruck parts, we will probably use eighth inch aluminum. Um, that's what we used in the Rivian. It's a little bit lighter weight, lighter, a little bit lighter duty, but still pretty, pretty strong. Pretty good cut. Pretty good sized panel. Max, did the Grinch ever come to your house when you were a kid? Hi. How's it going in here? Good, how are you? Good. This can has somehow been on this cart. This can's been sitting right here on this cart for like three years. We moved it. But for some reason, now that there's too many, now that there's more people around, we can't risk this disappearing. So I think that's something. Like that. All right, so we've got these cut. Uh, I'm going to use a wire wheel to quickly buzz off some of the dross off the back, although it's a pretty clean cut. And then we'll bend them into position and tack them so they stay there. And uh, probably hit them with some paint so they look like finished. Mm. All right, one guess. No. Okay. Ranger? Nope. No. Something we haven't done before. Cybertruck. There you go. It actually? Yeah. yeah. Let's go. <laughs> I don't know that it's uh, good. I think it's close. It's a lot bigger of a panel than I thought it was going to be. Uh, it's like okay. six feet. Yeah. Tip to tail. It's like if you didn't give a fuck what anybody thought about a truck that you were going to make, that is what you would make. Yeah. And I can appreciate that. I said, if I had the money, I'd get one. Yeah. We don't even know what they cost yet. <laughs> That's so I'm saying, if I had the money, I'll be happy. Whatever if it's magical under, amount that is, I'll be happy if it's under a hundred grand. Well, I'm gonna get out of your way so I don't get our flash. <laughs> All right. Smart guy looking after your eyes. Yeah, they're bad enough as it is. Crazy shape bed. That's uh, that's something. Looks like some of the panels we get back in return boxes from people. <laughs> <laughs> A couple extra bends. Wow. You're looking from the back tailgate. That's the, that's the bed shape. Approximately, again, we're guessing at this point, but I think it's pretty close. <laughs> a lot of real estate, but a lot of bends. It's a lot of, a lot of options. All right, so we've got our two prototype panels cut. Hit them with one quick uh, coat of paint so that they didn't look quite as ugly. Um, now what we're going to do is connect the two panels. Well, first what I'm going to do is rivet a brand tag onto this to kind of make it make it official. 
Um, I think we'll connect the two panels. We will see if we can mount them to this L-Track, which if you're following the Cybertruck, you know that there's gonna be L-Track in the bed. Um, I may show you kind of quickly how attachment to an L-Track can work. Um, we're gonna, I think, come up with a unique solution that's specific to our panel system. Um, yeah, let's do it. All right, so I'm, I'm attaching these. This is kind of crude again. Uh, I'm just gonna use some wing nuts uh, as I typically do for prototype stuff. But in production, this panel, I'll call it the lower panel, has a jog in it so that these panels sit flat. And that panel will have threaded inserts in it so that you're just threading hardware directly into it like so. Quite a panel. It's a lot of metal. These are going to be expensive to make. <laughs> I'm glad they're going to be aluminum. <laughs> yeah, aluminum will at least make them easier to manage. Yeah. And and actually, like the odd shape in the bed that kind of forces us to put these uh, bends in the panel if we want to kind of keep them tight to the bed, which we do, um, is going to help us add rigidity to the panels. So mm. it's it's like a perfect opportunity for us to use aluminum. Um, that's one of the things that's important about these panels and this truck. There's a conversation to be had like, well, would you make this panel just flat all the way back? Um, but if we're not sticking close enough to the bedside in the cyber truck, there's storage underneath. You can see in the photos, there's like latches where the, the bed will flip up just like in the Rivian. Hmm. And uh, we don't want to do anything that would prevent you from being able to open that either with the panels or even with some, some attachments. So. That's a consideration. So this is like a one version of an L-Track attachment. There's a bunch of them, there's quick release ones. This is another kind of a, like a cast version of the same sort of thing. And this is a two lug it's called, but they make them much larger. The idea is you can drop this in anywhere. So unlike other like T-slot rails and stuff where you have to slide it in from the end, this one you can drop it in anywhere. Then you move it over to between and then there's usually a feature like this that will be able to drop down like that and then prevent it from sliding. So for the sake of prototyping, we're gonna use these. Um, but for production, I think we're gonna have our own kind of uh, creative solution that's a little bit um, better. I won't elaborate on that. So one of the nice things about L-Track actually to Tesla's credit is because you don't have to slide your accessories or attachments in from the sides, even if there are accessories using the rail like we are here, uh, it doesn't prevent you from putting something you know, here or taking it out and moving it over here, which is great because in addition to these side panels, we will have a bed divider that is something that you can move front to back. Um, and so that will, be, that will be compatible with these side panels because you can drop attachments in from the side like this. So um, we'll probably prototype that in a video in the near future because that's also been designed. Um, but this is exciting. Now we basically just need to wait for uh, final dimensions or 3D scans to dial these in and send them to production. So like we had with uh, Broncos and the Rivian, we have a very early Cybertruck reservation. Like I'm hitting refresh while during the launch to set, send this reservation in. So. Hopefully we will have a truck quickly, um, or as quickly as possible, so that we can get this stuff locked in. If we don't, we have a lot of other customers and friends that also have reservations. Um, so I'm, I'm pretty confident we'll have quick access to a truck in order to wrap this project up. So that is all we've got for you this week. You saw us working on the Tesla Cybertruck bedside molly racks. Kind of a couple of, couple of different phases of design than we normally show. We've worked on the actual design of this for a few months, kind of in, in spare time here and there. Uh, by the time you're watching this, Tesla has had their delivery event, um, so hope, which is tomorrow, my time. Um, and so hopefully we all kind of know a little bit more then. Um, we don't feel super strongly about like EV one way or another. We just like cool, interesting trucks and vehicles, and there's no denying that uh, the Cybertruck is one of those. So we're excited to see how it turns out. Um, we're also gonna show you in the future our bed divider we've been designing over the course of the last six, eight months. Uh, we'll kind of do some rough prototypes of that the same way we did with this. That is it. Check back next Monday. <laughs>